to? Let's let's spend the last few minutes of the show talking about the Rape Tavern. All right. Because we talked about this two weeks ago, and uh, we, we, we decided we wanted to do a little of uh, a little social experiment. Well, full disclosure, right. not every bit makes it to air. It's true. This would be one that we wanted to do, and we, at the same time... We really wanted to do it. Because we, we tried. It, it, Very it's, hard. It was... It's south... I got, I got you for Gallo. Gallo. If, that if that helps, helps hashtag, hashtag old, old joke, joke is old. Is old. 9.5. Thank you. Great. I got inches for Kahlo. Appreciate it. Uh, so, okay. Um, a, a couple of weeks ago, we had talked about the WoW Rape Tavern. Yes. And uh, this was a this was a story that came from uh, Motherboard, which is yep. Vice. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a subsidiary of Vice. And uh, basically, the story was that um, the Goldshire Inn... On many WoW servers, RP, non-RP, had turned into something of a rape tavern, a, a notorious uh, uh, gathering point for people to ERP either aggressively or not. Um, and so we decided that we were going to... Uh, d- d- investigate. Yeah, investigate and kind of decide for ourselves what exactly was going on at the Goldshire Taverns. Um, we had... Uh, now, Now, granted, we had not done as involved of a... Uh, uh, in, involved of research as Motherboard did, who went to, I think it was, like, what? 20? 20 servers? 20 servers and talked to 40 <laughs> players total. Although, I will say that uh, what is the worst rape tavern is now in my Google search history. So, Wow. Great. Of all the times I should have went incognito. Yeah, yeah, you, really you could have avoided that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so, uh, we we did we we did our own uh bit of research, and I don't know if it's that you know things have kind of calmed down, or this was around a certain period of time. Maybe but in between expansions. The Goldshire Inn is definitely very well populated. There's oh, yes. a lot of there's a lot of players around there. Um so basically the the bit that we wanted to do was to catch a predator in Azeroth. Um yeah. we, we we essentially wanted to have uh Juxta logged in um and kind of catfishing some Someone who is being overly aggressive because we wow. saw we, missed opportunity. We saw fat fishing. That is a, <laughs> okay. That is a missed opportunity. Yeah, I'll get you. Nice. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Um, but you know, uh, we we had uh, Juxta who was trying to uh, troll somebody into getting aggressive with us, and you know, part of the motherboard story was that you know people would go to the extent of asking for real life phone numbers and address uh, addresses, and that if somebody resisted, it would start to get worse from other players in the area, and so we really tried to test that. And uh, and tried to get someone who would be overly aggressive with us, and then when they asked for something like our phone number, we were going to give them the studio line, right? Um, so that they would call the show, and then we could have a conversation with them on the air. So um, that none of that happened. No, not even close. Chris, what exactly happened? Well, I mean, because you were in Azeroth for what a good hour, hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. Like most of uh, FUC, and uh, basically a lot of nothing. I tried like being like, oh, I'm a new player. Uh, anyone want to RP? Because it's an RP server. And the most I ever got was a random tell from someone saying that they wanted to do nasty things with me and my dog. You were a hunter. So I was a, a hunter. So you had a wolf. I had yeah. a wolf. Okay. But still. <laughs> so, I mean, and when I, when I, when I tried to like, get them to elaborate more and get aggressive, they just stopped talking to me. See, I, 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 think, I think the approach that you probably should have taken there was more... Of like, I am a new player. Can someone please help me? Mm. As opposed to, does someone want to RP? Right? Because if it, you know, putting RP out there, I think that that muddies the water. But when you have a new player, at, if you were asking basic questions about the game, well, right? This is what surprised me too, though, because even going there and ask people RP, like you said, that th- this place uh, we we're on Moongar, which is like the most uh, popul- populated RP server, right? That inn was hopping. Like there yeah, were people tons. everywhere. I'm pretty sure that there, there were was more pe- there were more people in that one location in Azeroth than are signed on to Sergeant Tannis. Is that in, <laughs> is that in the one that's near Gankers Mill? 
No, 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 it's not no, that no, one. No, no, okay, no, no, no. nope. It looked um, familiar, but but anyway, like like even like he, you didn't even get like like normal tells for uh, from anyone like one yeah. to RP, which really surprises me because everybody was doing it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it doesn't as, as rampant as that article made it out to be. I don't think it's quite that crazy. Oh you no, know? Cause, it's cause, definitely not. Because one of our concerns was like kids playing this game, right? And then this isn't to say that you know a kid couldn't obviously have you know a terrible encounter on there things but, happen but i don't think that that server is necessarily any worse than any other server or really any other game for that matter for someone to have a bad encounter yeah, but I, i've seen way worse things in 14 oh than yeah what i saw from what he was dealing with but i think it i think it it, it brings up a point that's that's worth hanging on and that is that you know when you read a story and and you're presented with a certain context. I think you always have to question it, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I I you know, for as much as for as much fun as we had talking about it, you know, there were enough people that piped up of like, oh well, y- you you just took the clickbait on that. That sort of made us go, well, okay, maybe this maybe this was not casting what was going on here right maybe in, we did take the clickbait yeah, maybe we did, maybe we did. And, if, and if we did like can is there something that we can do about it well here's what i and, think and again and again you know when you're presented with the idea of a rape tavern that's pretty fucking awful that's but super the, sen- uh what, what is it sensationalized yes yeah. since that's exactly the right word mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's inherently sensationalized and so when you go and you find find out what the truth of this is and it's just a large collection of players that are mostly talking to each other uh that it's way more innocuous yeah see i i don't doubt that that what the story talked about happened you know i mean because they talked to you know 40 different players that all had stories of course but, but this is the thing if you take 40 people that have had one or two encounters in years of playing the game it doesn't really equate to this massive no, rape tavern. Right? Exactly right, and and that's the thing is that like, what you know, why is it that everyone buys the the context that they're presented with when you know, because. It, this happens a lot. This this happens when we talk about news stories. When we talk about um, you know uh, pretty uh, you know well, let's, uh, articles, let's blog go, posts. Let's go right back to the shared. Russians hacking Pokemon Go. Most people just see that headline, don't even bother clicking on it, and just go on saying, "Oh yeah, hey, did you hear that Russia got hacked by Pokemon Go?" No, I didn't. They say it to someone else till eventually it gets to someone who's like, "That wasn't a fucking hack." Did right. you read but, the article? But again, no. again, when you when you look at the body of information. In, exactly. In the actual article that's even trying to be sensational, you even go, "Oh, well, that's not they that's not a hack. That's just right. inviting someone right. that's inviting a bunch of people to a group on on Facebook." You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that's that's entirely different than hacking Pokémon Go, but it doesn't change the way that the forward promote was written. Yep, you right. know, like I th- wasn't the, the article for this originally like uh, Warcraft or World of Warcraft has a rape problem or something like that? Yes. yes. Like holy shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, what you're right. Even even that uh, like over contextualizes the actual story itself. Exactly. The world has a rape problem. There's this one tavern and a few servers. Yeah. I mean, 